And welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Alright, so I'm gonna go see if I can get myself a big bed today. This giant, like, space between my bed and the wall is kind of bothering me, and I want to fix it. Anyways, let's get to work. Oh. Hi, Lou. I honestly wasn't expecting you today. I guess we gave enough gifts to the Harvest Guys to unlock Lou. So yeah, she's from A Wonderful Life. She'll come to the inn every Sunday and we can get recipes from her. We'll go see her later. Anyways, that's actually not the visitor I expected to come. You're the visitor I expected to come. Oh, sorry, I can't. So yeah, basically on the second of winter, Mayor Thomas will come and basically ask you for a random item. Unfortunately, I can't provide that. Give me a second. There is a trick to this, though. All we really need to do is basically reload our save from uh, this morning, just to reset, like, what he asked for. I'm gonna see if I can get him to ask for something I can actually provide. Because there are a couple things that are pretty easy to get, but, um... Yeah, I can't get a specialized apple at this time of the year. Alright, what else do you need? Can you just give me something easy, like... Oh, I can give black grass. That's actually really easy to get. That's fine. Yep, I am taking that request. So basically, oops, I actually skipped through that. But basically, we just need to be here at around 7 p.m. Uh, to give him the grass. But yes, I can provide black grass. Actually, do I have any in storage? I might have to go dig some up uh, from the mines. I... Do not. Okay, we can just go dig some up later then. Alright, so that should be pretty easy. Now basically, we'll just have to come back to the farm at around 7pm and he'll be around. Also, where's my horse? I think you're actually going to grow up like tomorrow, actually. It's already the third, or it's already the second. Anyways, let's go take care of our animals real quick. Uh, Yarn Maker is still not available, obviously. So we'll just have to wait for that. Anyways, let's get everyone fed. Also, I'm just gonna double check this real quick. We have seven animals in the, uh, that aren't pregnant, right? One, two, or sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Just want to make sure I'm counting right. And then one for the pregnant animal. Actually, we can just give her this. There you go, ice cream. Alright, so let's get our milk and then we'll get going. But yeah, I definitely plan on getting that big bed today. Because if we can get that, I... Actually, I'm not sure if we can propose... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to propose tomorrow. Because I don't want to miss uh, Thomas's request. I think we will propose tomorrow, though, no matter what. Well, no, we have to get the big bed. If we can get the big bed today, then I'm proposing tomorrow, no matter what. Anyways, let's go take care of the chickens, and then I'm gonna head to the mines real quick. We're gonna see if we can just find some black grass. It shouldn't take that hard, or it shouldn't take too long. Well, I say that now, but... For all I know, with my luck, it's gonna take forever to find that black grass. God, I think I've said this before, but I'm really not looking forward to finding the curse tools in this playthrough. I don't know if they really did lower the spawn rates of those things, but the first time I tried hunting them on this game, it took hours. God, that's actually going to be a real pain to record now that I think about it. That's definitely going to have to be post-commentary. Anyways, that's not important right now. What is important is that we have eggs and we have mayonnaise. There we go. Alright, everyone out. Oh, before we go, though, do I have any honey? I do have honey in the trees I should be collecting. We'll be sure to give those away later. Also, 
also, my penguin must love it outside right now. It's like, nice and cold and snowy and probably really comfortable for him. Also, yeah, we need to remember to go see Lou later. She'll show up every Sunday at the inn, uh, and just sell- or I don't think she even sells them, I think she just gives away recipes. I know you could unlock her in the Game Boy Advance version by, uh, what is it? By linking A Wonderful Life to Friends of Mineral Town. I never really did that as a kid, though. Mostly because I don't know why, but I could never get it to work as a kid. Like, every time I tried it would just give me an error, it was weird. Also, game, I would really love some black grass soon. I'm not sure if we even have to go that far down to get it. But it should just start appearing any point, right? Actually, wait, black grass, that's... No, I'm pretty sure you dig up black grass. I couldn't remember if you had to dig it up or if you had to break it out of rocks. Pretty sure you dig it up. Oh god, please tell me I'm not actually going to be unlucky and not get any. There it is. Found it. Perfect. We'll do more mining at some point, though. Alright, so the carpenters doesn't open until, like, around 11. So we have some time to kill. Let's do it. Let's kill some time by breaking stumps. But yeah, we just need to remember to give that black grass to Thomas later tonight. I think your friendship with him will go down if you don't give him something you promised. Uh, there is a surprising lack of stumps right now. You're not actually open yet, are you? No, we have to actually wait till 11. Even though he's standing right there behind his counter. Okay, we'll come back later then. I'm just gonna do like a lap around town. Oh, right, I forgot. I kind of used up a lot of stamina in the mines. Also, I'm not sure if it's just me, or, but it feels like the mines take a lot more stamina in this version. It might just be because in this game you can actually see your stamina going down. In the original game, you just kind of had to infer your current stamina levels just by, like, animations or if you're turning blue. Not really sure which one I like better. Also, I kind of... I do kind of miss the inability to see, like, your stamina levels, but at the same time, it's just so much con more convenient now. Also, who doesn't like me more? Aqua. There you go. Anyways, I'll play with them later. I'm definitely going to be cutting out that my play time with the Harvest Sprites. Or maybe I'll... Oop, I wasn't paying attention there. Or maybe I'll just keep them in, just because. It's fun-ish for a while. Anyways, I also want to continue to befriend Ellen here. Have some honey. Yeah, well, the chickens don't really mind, but the cows and sheep probably don't really like the cold that much. They, get, they can't go outside anymore. Whoops. Oh, actually, Ellen, what are we at right now in terms of friendship? We are at... Okay, yeah, we have enough notes now. Now I can make have her make a sock for me. Well, I need yarn first, but then I can have her make a sock for me. Oh, you know what? While we're here, let me do one more thing before we head back. Actually, let me do two more things before we head back. I'm hungry. Let's have some lunch. Alright, now let's go find Lou. I believe Lou is just sitting upstairs like, uh... Oh, wait. Ran, why are you... I just walked on a cat. Why are you watering the plants in Cliff's room? She is cute, though. I remember liking Anne as a kid. I also, I still can't think of her as Ran. I just immediately think of her as Anne. 
I guess, yeah, okay, yeah, there is a hotel. And not really, to be honest, but sure, why not? I mean, you guys only have three guest rooms. I guess they're always full, though. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna go see uh, Lou in a second. There you are, Lou. Alright, so what recipe are we gonna learn today? We are gonna learn... Wild Grape... You just taught me how to make wine. Okay, so we just need wild grapes and purple grass. Put them in a pot, and we have wine. Sorry, wild grape water. It's wine. It's just straight up wine. Oops. I do like Lou's like art style or Lou in this art style though. Also, I think they actually renamed Forget Me Not Valley in this game. Or they retranslated it. I don't remember what they retranslated to though. Because I remember her mentioning it at some point, it was called something different. I'm sure it'll pop up at some point. Anyways, can I get myself that big bed now, please? So how much does it cost again? It costs... Oh, I could also get another tree. Oh, you know what? I might get a... Oh, yeah, you know what? Give me an orange tree. Go ahead and plant down the farm, so I can have some, like, fruit this season. Anyways, I want to get... There it is. Oh, it's only 10,000. I thought it was 20,000. Well, I have a bigger bed now. You know what? I'm gonna splurge a little bit. I really shouldn't be spending this money, but screw it, I want a bigger TV. I, uh, do I even want more storage? I don't really need more storage at the moment. And I'll get a nice rug, too. We'll decorate the place before Cliff moves in. But yeah, I do want to get that bathroom at some point, but it's gonna be a while. The silo and the water mill, honestly, I don't really need them yet. We're gonna get them at some point. And then the town villa, ugh. If it wasn't 10 million... Alright. Well, we just got some new furniture. But like I said before, we're not going to uh, be proposing a clip today. We're going to do that tomorrow. I just want to make sure we don't screw up Thomas's request. Also, at some point, I should probably upgrade my hammer. I can't right now because he's working on my wool maker. Or, sorry, yarn maker. But once he's done, I think we'll upgrade our hammer next. It would be nice to, like, break these rocks a lot quicker. Also, I'm still trying to get a bunch of experience on my tools, which is why I'm basically just going around swinging things at everything. Right now, I think our watering... Or not watering can. Our, uh... Fishing rod is still the lowest, yeah. Oh, well. Actually, what is, uh... Oh, the sickle, right. Oh, that reminds me. Isn't it Jennifer's birthday? She's not here right now. Never mind. We'll find her later. So at this point, I'm just trying to kill time until 7 p.m. I could go back to the mines, but I don't really, I don't really feel like going to the mines. Honestly, if gems were worth more, I would totally go mining every day in winter, just to make the money back. But gems just aren't really worth that much in this game. Maybe it's just because it's like seasonal. I don't think any, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think any game's done that. Like, have seasonal prices for certain items. Like, most games, the price just stays the same throughout the year. Or if you, like, flood the market with something, you'll, like, lower the price overall. Economics! That would be a fun addition to the game. I guess the game is already kind of economical in nature. There's also one more power berry I can get in winter, but I can't get it until my fishing rod is upgraded. Oh, you know what? I just remembered something. There is a better way to, like, make time pass. I keep forgetting these are a thing, because I never really use them that much, because 
There's not really a ton of instances where you want time to pass quickly. Oh, also I have mail. I didn't check. Oh, they're just telling me about the big bet I just bought. Basically telling you, yeah, get a bigger bet if you're going to marry someone. It's going to be kind of weird to like, for like two people to squeeze into a twin size. I have a big bed now. Honestly, the big bed just looks so much more comfy than my bed. Like, the lack of a footboard just makes it look more fluffy for some reason. I don't know why. Also, I have a good TV now. The uh, TV shows are still pretty pixelated, but it's fine. I'm going to watch my new shows in HD now. seem to be getting along uh, quite well. Also, anything good on the news? I haven't really checked the news for a while. Oh, right. I just remember. There's, like, no holidays in winter in this game, are there? Yeah, there's, like... Oh, Valentine's Day is on the 14th. For a second there, I was gonna wonder why Valentine's Day is in the winter, but then I remembered in real life, February is still winter, so that makes sense. I don't know if we'll actually get anything for Valentine's Day, because that's for the girls. Actually, we might. I think we have enough girls at, like, purple... Wait. One second. How many bachelorettes do we have at Purple Heart? We actually have... Wait, do we actually have all of them at Purple Hearts? Everyone except Ellie, who I probably should talk to more. Okay, I think we're gonna get a lot of chocolate next on the 14th. That should be fun. And yeah, other than that, the only, like, real holidays are the Starlight Night on the 24th and then New Year's Eve. Huh, I always forget that winter is kind of barren in terms of holidays, too. Like, uh, you would think winter would be the time where you squeeze in all your holidays, because there's nothing else to do. Oh well. Anyways, the one thing I did forget, though. I always forget that the interesting books are a thing. So we can read this to make two hours pass. Alright, it's around 6pm. Uh, we'll wait outside until Thomas gets here. Also, yeah, we have a third tree now. I think we can have a total of five trees. So maybe at some point I'll get the other two fruit trees. Also, why'd I come in here? I forget, time doesn't pass indoors. Alright, so he should be here soon. I have his black grass for him if he needs it. There he is. Also, yeah, why would you tell someone that you could provide, like, black grass? It's like a super common thing. Oh, right. And as a reward, we get the golden lumber. God. So yeah, basically this is a reference to the original game where if you have the piece of golden lumber in your fields, basically every single morning your neighbors would come and yell at you for basically displaying your wealth like an asshole. So the thing about golden lumber is that it never rots. So you can use that as fencing and it'll stay there forever. I don't really use it that much, but we have it now. You know what? There. So yeah, hopefully, I'm pretty sure in this game they don't come at you every morning until you remove it. That was such a weird thing in the original game, too. Anyways, I'm going to bed. Unfortunately, even though we have the big bed now, we still sleep in our, like, normal size twin bed. I don't know why, I want to sleep in the big bed. Oh, we got it now. The traditional winter theme. God, I... I really do like this, uh... Original, like, winter theme from Friends of Mineral Town. It's, like, so somber. 
Like, after this, everything, like, all the winter themes start sounding, like, Christmassy. I kind of miss the days where things are, like, somber and, like, kind of peaceful and sleepy in winter. Anyways, I have mail. Oh! That's available now? Huh. I thought that wasn't available until a year or two. Well, whatever. I'm gonna get that then. Alright, we're gonna go grab ourselves a power barrier later. But you know what? I think we might actually end the episode here. So in between episodes, I'm gonna take care of my animals and maybe go play with the Harvest Sprites for a while. And then next time... I think it's time. We should have met all the prerequisites at this point. We've seen all of his heart events, we have an upgrade house, and we have the big bed. I think it's time to finally go propose. So, till then. <laughs>